Hi guys, it's Michaela Liza. Oh my gosh, squeaky chair. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, I actually worked on Grey's Anatomy and Station 19, as you guys know, and it was I it was just it was crazy. I was like, wait, uh, I saw my name on the call sheet and it said Grey's Anatomy and it said Michaela Lysak and I was like, what? Many of you kind of want to know, okay, well, girl, what happened on set? How did you get the opportunity? Tell us everything. I'm going to tell you everything right now. But first, please subscribe. <laughs> please. I just want to say thank you to those who were supporting me on Instagram, who like watched live and were sending me their stories and like posting me. It was crazy and just thank you guys. I tried my best to get as much footage as I can. I did not want to be disrespectful or unprofessional because that is not like me. So I'm going to show you what I could show and a little bit of the journey and hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's talk about how did you get the opportunity, Michaela? Well, my manager sent me the job and she said, okay, I have an audition for you. It's for Station 19. It's a co-star role. So co-star is under five lines. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, Shonda Rhimes. Like, wow, this is cool. Station 19, uh, that's crazy cool. I love the show. This is a little bit of my self tape, but my little brother, uh, he had to read with me because nobody else wanted to read with me. And I was like, oh, okay. Like I just gotta get this audition done. And then I sent it in and you know, it was like, I didn't hear anything. I was like, ah, it's probably done. But the thing is, I kind of got a little feeling about it. And then um, my manager called me and she's like, oh my gosh, we are pinned. And I'm like, I'm pinned, what? And if you don't know what a pin is, a pin basically means that they want to make sure you're available and they're gonna like stick you for the date. It may be between like you and a few other girls, but you're pinned for the job. I just wanna make sure you are available to work. Yes, I'm available to work for Shonda Rhimes, thank you. Then my mom calls me, my manager calls me, and my agent calls me, and whenever all of them call together, I know that I booked a job. Um, my camera thing ran out of storage, so I'm back. Then my manager told me, oh, actually, um, they wanna bump you up to guest star top of show, and guest star has more than, um, five lines and top of show billing is when your name gets added to the front credits of the show you know how you're watching it and it's like the beginning and you see all the names on the bottom yeah my name's gonna be there later that day you know i'm out on the town getting some starbucks sanitizing you know i was in a good mood i was like okay okay and then my manager calls me and i was like oh gosh what is she calling me for like uh and she's like hi michaela crazy news Grey's Anatomy actually uh, wants you to be on their show. They're pinning you. They want to make sure you're available to work, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, are you kidding me? She's like, yeah, um, their stories kind of cross over. So they want to know if you're available. And I was like, ah! um, the small role kind of like culminated into this amazing blessing. I had to get multiple tests, um, you know, to make sure I wasn't positive for anything. I got to work and it was really exciting. So I'm gonna show you guys some clips and yeah. Good morning guys. I am getting ready to go get a COVID test. It is five, like 20 in the morning. So if I have COVID, I'm not gonna be able to work. Wish me luck, I'm gonna do my hair. Hi guys, it's Michaela. So it is November 3rd. What's today? Is it the third? It's voting day. Yeah. It's the third though? Yeah. It's voting day in the United States. I'm actually not headed to the polls. I'm heading to a fitting. I have to try on some clothes to see what the production wants me to wear when I'm shooting. So we just got into LA. Everybody's expecting riots because it is election day and nobody knows the outcome and everything outside, every building you pass is just boarded up because they think there's gonna be looting. It's insane here. LA is so different in 2020. It used to just look way different. We 
just passed through Paramount. It's kind of nostalgic to see. I worked on Haunted Hathaways there. Um, look at the studio. Oh my gosh, I miss it. Yeah, I worked on Haunted Hathaways and Instant Mom there in front of a live studio audience and it was so much fun. Okay, so we are heading in to the fitting. I have my mask on. Since like I first started for like Austin and Allie. Fun fact, actually, really really cool fact. I ran into Caleb Worthy when I was auditioning for Austin and Allie, and he's one of the main characters. And he was like the nicest actor, one of the nicest I've ever met. And he was like, "Oh my gosh, yeah, let's run lines together." So I literally have a video of it. That's sort of all I prepared. Why don't you sing the first song that comes to your mind? Something your parents sang to you. You don't want to hear anything my dad sang. He's pretty tone deaf. And. I've been here for Raven's Home before too, but just like different things, pilots for Disney. I usually come here for Disney. Yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of what I can do. And there's my mom here. <laughs> okay, bye. Cool story, my mom actually saw Zendaya here. I've been out for Casey Undercover, I think once at the studio, but we were over in this area and my mom, I think she was like trying to find a bathroom or something. She's like, Michaela, I saw Cindy. I'm in my trailer, which is really nice. I'm gonna go to school right now and do all that, but yeah. Hey guys, so I just had lunch and I finished in hair and makeup and I have a burn on my hand. So it looks really cool, but I'm gonna be going to rehearsal and yeah. I'm just vlogging when I can. I can't really show too much just because it's a pretty big show, but yeah. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> We're headed to set. Um, yeah, so. We just got to the trailer. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Out of my pillow. Because it's cold. My mom and I just got breakfast. I got a breakfast burrito. She did too. And she got a donut. So, Wait, yum. Let me show my donut. You can literally get whatever you want from craft service. Like whatever you're craving, they have it. So it's really cool. Hi guys, it's Michaela. So I just got back from rehearsal. It was really fun and it was really cold. Like really cold. The whole cast, we all rehearsed the scene together. In a rehearsal, you go over blocking for the scene. So the director tells everybody where to go, where you're moving. So he has to deal with like every individual actor and the extras to try and get the scene coordinated and correct. So yeah, I just did that and I'm back in my trailer where it's nice and warm. I'm pretty sure you can hear the heater. Wednesday, I'll be back for station 19, but I won't be on location because right now we're shooting on location. So I will be on a sound stage and I will do the rest of my work there. But yeah, I gotta go to makeup right now. Okay, bye. I'm headed to set, guys. Wish me luck. Scandal. Okay guys, we're at Gray's and I'm about to go to hair and makeup, but this is my trailer. 
I have a two room and it's really cool. It's pretty nice. It's like a little couch, definitely bigger than my last one. There's a bathroom right there. I'm about to go to hair makeup and I'll see you guys. Um, we just got our clothes. I have like a little hospital gown. It's really cute. I just got out of hair makeup. I'm eating breakfast. Four. Hmm? <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> so today is my last day on set. And it's kind of bittersweet because I love the cast and the crew. They're really, really nice. But yeah, I'm on stage today. So I'm at the studio and I get to work at the studio. I'm not on location. I'm gonna go to rehearsal. But yeah, I just did my makeup stuff. That's my burnt hand. Probably the worst part of this, <laughs> of like being on a fire show, is having to wash off all of the dirt that they put on you. It's really hard to do, like, you guys. Ladies. Just for you. Okay guys, we're going to um, set right now to have breakfast and y'all, I've been breaking out so much because if you didn't know, during quarantine and filming a show, you have to wear a mask until they literally call action. All day you wear a mask and you can't take it off. And if anybody else has been on set, you know that the makeup they put on you is really thick. And so having to just breathe. You should try it on, everything's blurry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you don't know, duh. It's like coming back to eyesight. guys so it's friday this is the second to last day that i have on grays which is kind of sad but it's not the last day so i'm not super sad yeah i'm going to get my hand done my bloody burned hand and yeah just got finished in hair and makeup and i have my costume on there's my mom yeah We're gonna go get some breakfast. So it's our last day on set. So we're gonna walk to get some breakfast and yeah, it's gonna be fun. Honestly, this cast was probably the best cast I've ever worked with. We were in rehearsal and I was standing around everybody because in the scene I am like around everyone. Um, the whole cast is with me. And I'm just sitting there and they all come up to me to introduce themselves to me. And I was like, wow, Grey's Anatomy and Station 19, the best cast you could ever work with, the best crew you could ever work with, Mike Medico, um, Pete Chapman, Felicia Pride, just the beautiful minds behind the story. 
and it was such a powerful story and I was so lucky to be able to share it because it's a heavy subject it's about child trafficking there's a lot of stuff but I was glad that I could tell that story and I'm glad that people trusted me to tell it and yeah I don't know I just I really loved it and it was such a great experience and I won't forget it and I think it kind of made me realize how far I've come I remember six years ago I auditioned for Grey's Anatomy and looking back like I auditioned but I wasn't there yet my skill level wasn't there. Now I look at it and I'm like, wow, all of the years, seven years now, um, of just like working and auditioning and heartbreak, like it matures you and it leads you to this point. Six years ago self, when she auditioned, she would not be able to work alongside all of these huge names. They only put the best of the best on Grey's Anatomy and they only put the best of the best on Station 19. They only put the best of the best on a Shonda Rhimes show. It made me feel like I, you know, am good enough to work on a Shonda Rhimes show because she's one of the biggest names in Hollywood. She's writing the biggest shows right now. Before I booked it, I was really down on myself. I make these videos for you guys and I'm like, this is how you become an actor and this is how you book, but I wasn't booking and I hadn't booked for like a while and I, before even I got the audition, I was crying because somebody else got a role that like, I wanted and it just felt frustrating. Maybe it's not for me, like just write your own shows, cast yourself in your own shows. You know how to write screenplays and scripts and just do it yourself. And then it's like, God hit me with like, here you go, here's your sign to keep going. So, um, you know, everything happens for a reason and it was an amazing blessing. And you know, I thank God for that. That is a little bit of my journey. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. So more people find this video, learn about what it's like to be on TV. Please like it so people can find this. Follow me on the Instagram for new updates, lives, all that. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.